name's Chiara. I'm a third year, so finalist undergraduate at Robinson College. And I'm here to talk to you about college life and what living in Cambridge is actually like when everything isn't shut. <laughs> so this is my college, Robinson. It's very red brick, but it is absolutely beautiful. Um, this is the chapel and you see the entrance there, this Porter's Lodge, and over here we have the library. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so the library is a really important part of college life. Um, the first thing to know is that they are only accessible to college members, so you get into your college library using your ID card. And um, they're a great place to work and do your weekly work, so there are um, communal study spots like these, uh, places where everyone can work. And then um, you have individual study rooms and um, you can also print in the libraries and obviously there is an absolute wealth of books. Another really important college space, and this is true across all the colleges, are their beautiful gardens. Um, in summertime in Cambridge, people are always outside studying on the grass, taking their lunch to go and eat outside. So um, there's lots of really nice social spaces and really beautiful green outdoor spaces in Cambridge and within each one of the colleges. So there are some other really important spaces in college. Um, the first one of those is the cafe and bar that Robinson has. Um, we're very lucky that in the daytime we have a cafe where you can go and buy food like coffees or you can get sandwiches or even pizzas. And the Robinson pizzas are really good. And then at nighttime, um, the cafe turns into a bar setup where you can get drinks, there's a pool table, there's karaoke nights or um, quizzes, there's loads of stuff to do in those social spaces. Most colleges will also have a JCR or junior common room, uh, Robinson has a TV room, uh, there's also a BOP room which is essentially a place for in-college parties and um, there are a whole heap of other spaces in college like the chapel um, that are places you can go uh, and take some time or, or hang out with your friends. So there's loads to do in college. So that's just a brief look at some of the things that go on in college and um, it's worth mentioning that in college there are heaps of societies, um, some career specific, some subject specific, some for sports, some for music, I mean it really is limitless and the same is true outside of college, there are university sports teams, there are university uh, orchestras, there are so many talks, seminars, some career specific, some um, subject specific, some totally independent of all of those things, there are amazing plays, there are comedy nights, and Cambridge, the city itself, has so much to offer you. There are bars, there are pubs, there are clubs, there are incredible restaurants and independent coffee shops you can go and work in, there are museums, the botanical gardens are really beautiful and obviously punting in Cambridge is an amazing thing to do. Um, but the point is that life in Cambridge is really vibrant and exciting and there's so much more than just studying, doing your degree uh, to do when you're here for three years. In fact, there's so much to do that you could you could barely do it all in, in three years. So um, I wish you all the best of luck with application. And I hope when you get here, you'll have a wonderful time experiencing all the amazing things that Cambridge has to offer. Thanks.